Hi, Tamara here. Welcome to my channel. I am coming to you in my flannel pajamas today because today I will be demonstrating my updated evening winter skincare routine. Last Sunday I posted my AM routine and I will link that one below in case you missed it and want to see it. But tonight we are going to do the evening skincare routine. You know, winter has arrived a little early here in Minnesota. The temperatures are quite chilly and my furnace is running 24 seven. And what that means is that my dry skin becomes even drier and potentially even dehydrated. So what's the difference between dry skin and dehydrated skin? Dry skin is a skin type, just like oily skin is a skin type. The defining factor being dry skin simply produces less natural oils than the oilier skin type does. However, dehydrated skin is a skin condition. That is when your skin just loses hydration, loses water, loses moisture. You can have oily skin and dehydrated skin. The problem for me is in the winter, my already dry skin is at risk for becoming dry and dehydrated. And the last thing, my 61 year old, yes, I had a birthday this week and I turned 61, yay. The last thing my 61 year old dry skin needs is to become not only dry, but dehydrated. So the goal of my winter skincare routine is all about hydration. Not only hydration in my skincare, but hydration obviously includes drinking plenty of fluids and of course a diet rich in healthy fats. I eat an avocado pretty much every day. So don't skip on the healthy fats. That really does help that really does help your skin glow. The number one non-skincare game changer that I have added into my environment in the past couple of years is a humidifier in my bedroom at night. That has made a world of difference. Artificially heated dry air in the winter can just suck the moisture right out of your skin, especially at night while you sleep. Turning a humidifier on in my bedroom at night has made a huge difference in minimizing that trans epidermal water loss where the water is literally evaporating off off of your skin okay the number one most important part of an evening skincare routine in my opinion is cleansing i have not missed a day of cleansing since i turned 13. it is crucial to get the makeup sunscreen and even if you're not wearing makeup and sunscreen and i hope you're wearing sunscreen but even if you don't wear makeup and sunscreen, it's really important to gently and thoroughly cleanse your skin of sebum, oil, pollutants. It, it's just super important every single night. Very important to cleanse your skin thoroughly at night. However, this is one part of skincare where you really do not need to spend a lot of money. Cleansers, as long as they're gentle and effective, you know, they're just not on your skin long enough to get the benefit of all the ingredients that might be in the cleanser. So, so cleansers are an area that I try to choose very affordable products. My, currently, my favorite cleansing oil is the Hada Labo cleansing oil. Very gentle, extremely effective at removing my makeup and sunscreen. It is made of olive fruit oil and jojoba seed oil. It is fragrance free. It is essential oil free and it is extremely affordable. This is 6.7 ounces and you can get it on Amazon for about $16. And this lasts me at least six months. So that is a very affordable product. What made it even more affordable is a few months ago, a viewer made a comment and told me that you can buy refills on Amazon, but I purchased the refill on Amazon for $11. So now my 6.7 ounce hot Labo cleansing oil is $11 and it lasts me six months. You can't get better than that. That is incredibly affordable for a beautiful product. Now, if you saw my skincare routine that I posted last spring, you will know that I spoke very highly of the Physician's Formula Matcha Green Tea Cleansing Balm. I still really do like this. However, it does have fragrance in it, if that is a problem for you. 
Although it is drugstore priced and a very good dupe for more expensive cleansing balms like Clinique Take the Day Off or some other more expensive cleansing balms, it is still a lot more expensive than the Hada Labo. This is 1.4 ounces and it's about 12 or 13 dollars. So while that is drugstore price and fairly affordable, I was going through this about every six weeks. This lasts me six months. So the choice is clear for me. I really prefer the Hot Labo cleansing oil. Having said that, next time I'm able to travel and who knows when that will be, I will take the Physician Formula Matcha Green Tea Cleansing Balm because it is a lot easier to travel with a small sized cleansing balm than it is to travel with a larger size cleansing oil. Okay, so how I use the cleansing oil. I use one pump, that's all it takes. I apply the cleansing oil onto dry skin and I put it right on my eyelashes, apply it evenly all over the face So I just work that in. Okay, I'm gonna look like a raccoon in a minute. And now I have a bowl of water here. And now the magic happens when you add a little bit of water and emulsify the cleansing oil. By adding water, that causes the cleansing oil to emulsify. And I don't know if you can see, the cleansing oil then turns white. And when the cleansing oil emulsifies, that's when the emulsification process literally dissolves the makeup and the sunscreen and the grime and the sebum and lifts it off the face. Oh my gosh, that feels good. Okay. Normally I would be at my bathroom sink and I would rinse it off with faucet water, but I'm not at my sink, so I have <clears throat> gotten my makeup eraser microfiber cleansing cloth wet and I am going to use this to remove the cleansing oil look at that that was on my face and there's no way I want to go to sleep at night with all that on my skin Next, I'm going to go in with a cream cleanser. Now, my very favorite cream cleanser is my Mad Hippie Cream Cleanser. I have been using this for a couple of years and I absolutely adore it. It is gentle and hydrating. It has beautiful ingredients, jojoba oil, macadamia nut seed oil, green tea. I love this cleanser. This is moderately affordable. Um, I buy this at Whole Foods or my local co-op. It's organic and very clean and very environmentally friendly, so I don't mind spending a little bit more money on this. This is about $15 for four ounces, and I almost always find it on sale. In fact, in fact Whole Foods just recently had 25% off on all their health and beauty items. Now, another cleanser that I really do enjoy is the La Roche Posay. Um, what is this? Hydrating Gentle Cleanser. This is about $15 for 12 ounces. So I do enjoy both of these cleansers, but I am just in love with my Mad Hippie Cleanser. So like I said, I've been using this for about two years. I buy it on sale and stock up. I use one pump of this and work that into my skin. And because I really want to make sure that those beautiful ingredients come in contact with my skin for as long as possible, I will usually do like a facial massage for one or two minutes. Add a little water, work it in. But in the interest of time, but in the interest of time, I'm not going to do a two minute facial massage, but it just feels it just feels so good oh it just feels so good i really love the mad hippie cleanser i highly recommend it i'm going to take a second makeup eraser microfiber cleansing cloth and 
I have gotten this one wet and I will use that to remove the cleanser. Now, even when I'm even when I'm at my bathroom sink rinsing my face with the faucet water, I still like to go over my face with the microfiber cleansing cloth because I feel like that just gives a little bit of gentle um, exfoliation and it removes all traces of cleanser. Okay. All right, all right, my face is very clean. It feels very hydrated. And while my skin is still damp, I am gonna go in with my Sukiyaka Huhada. Oh my gosh, I can never remember the name of this. I will, of course, all the products will be listed and linked in the description box below. But this is a super hydrating essence. It has urea, it has glycerin, it has hyaluronic acid and it has um, ceramides. So a few drops of that and I will just press that into my skin while my skin is damp and that will sort of seal in that hydration. The last thing you want is for moisture to evaporate off your skin because that will suck more moisture out of your skin. So this applied to my damp face really seals in the hydration. Okay. So that is the double cleanse I do every single night. It really deeply, gently, and thoroughly cleanses my face without leaving my face feeling dry or stripped. Now, most nights I am using my Aduro LED red light therapy mask. And because of that, my next step is to go in with my Mysama Green Rooibos Pressed Serum. This is an amazing antioxidant serum. The Green Rooibos Pressed Tea is a powerful antioxidant. It is beautifully formulated. It has niacinamide, aloe, turmeric. It's all organic, sustainably, re sustainably sourced. I have been using this for about four or five months. Um, Bev May, the formulator and owner of the company, sent me, you know, sent it to me free for review on my channel. I fell truly, madly, and deeply in love, and I have since repurchased it with my own money and using my own discount code. So I do have a discount code in the description box below. I highly recommend it. And the reason I'm putting it on now is because is because it is. And the reason I'm applying it now is because it is a perfect partner with the LED red light therapy mask. The two just work synergistically together and I apply this about 10 minutes before I do my mask. Now, I do my mask, like I said, probably about five days a week. I use two pumps of the Mysama. You can see it's sort of an amber brown color, although once you work it into the skin, it does not tint your skin. It disappears into your, oh my gosh. That is a beautiful serum. The scent is so fresh and clean, it smells like the most beautiful tea you've ever smelled in your life. So I apply that. Did I say it had niacinamide? I really love that. Anyway, I really love the Mysama Green Rooibos Pressed serum. I highly recommend it. It is a beautiful antioxidant serum. Once the green ribose press serum has soaked in about 10 minutes, then I will do my Aduro LED red light um, therapy mask. I have been loving my Aduro LED red light therapy mask. I use it about five nights a week for 20 or for at least 20 minutes. And the reason I use it at night is so, is it is so relaxing. Okay. Anyway, I do have an entire video demonstrating how I use this and why I use this, and I will link that video in the description box below. So now we're gonna pretend that I have completed my 20 minutes of my LED red light therapy. I might post a picture here to show you how I relax with my LED mask. 
So the next step, and one of the most important steps in my evening skincare routine is my Retin-A. I have been using Retin-A for close to 20 years. Retin-A is a vitamin A derivative, so but it is a prescription. You can get non-prescription vitamin A derivatives, such as Retin-All and Retin-Aldehyde. They're a little bit weaker, and they take a little bit longer to be effective. However, all vitamin A derivatives help build collagen, build elastin, reduce hyperpigmentation. Literally, vitamin A derivatives are the number one anti-ager, right? Retin-A is the gold standard in anti-aging. It has 40 years of science-backed research to prove that it, in fact, does help build collagen, build elastin, and help reduce hyperpigmentation. It really very effectively treats all the signs of photoaging, sun damage. Okay, I do have a couple of dedicated videos on Retin-A and I will link those down below as well. So Retin-A is a prescription, right? And for many, many years, I would purchase my Retin-A while I was on vacation in Mexico because it is over the counter there. And I would get a lot of questions from viewers. How can I get Retin-A and how do I start Retin-A? And I would very often tell them, well, try Curology because Curology is an online dermatology service, which is much more affordable than going to a dermatologist. And this online service will customize a prescription Retin-A treatment formula specifically for your individual needs. And Curology will guide you through the beginning steps of building up your tolerance to Retin-A. Because I'm, I know you know, Retin-A is a powerful medication and you really have to start with a low dose and build up slowly to minimize the side effects, which can be very severe, dryness, irritation, all that type of thing. Like I said, I had been recommending to, for people to try Curology for a long time. However, I had never tried it. So several months ago when Curology reached out to me, and offered to send me their product for review on my channel. I'm like, yes, please. So I went onto the Curology website. There's a questionnaire, how, what your age is, your skin type, your skin concerns, and then you submit photographs from the front and both sides. And then a dermatology professional assesses your skin and develops a customized Retin-A prescription treatment cream designed specifically for your individual needs. They always include two other active ingredients, which I think is fabulous. That has really helped me simplify my skincare routine by minimizing the need for other separate serums, which I will explain in a minute. Anyway, what else can I say about Curology? The other thing I love about Curology is you always have a dermatology professional to ask questions. I have submitted a few different questions to my you know, dermatology professional and she has always been very gracious in answering my questions. For instance, they started me on a 0.7 tretinoin prescription rather than a 0.1, which is lower than I had been using. And when I asked her about it, she said the reason they did that is because by adding the other two active ingredients, she wanted to sort of titrate my tretinoin back just a little bit to make sure I could tolerate this new um, triple action formula. And I'm totally fine with that. The other really awesome thing about Curology, Retin-A prescription only comes in three strengths, 0 0.025, which is the weakest, 0 0.05, which is the middle, and 0 0.1, which is the strongest. But, but she gave me a prescription for 0 0.07, which was halfway between the middle and the strongest. And so I really love that, that they can sort of fine tune. And then when you're starting Retin-A, you know, you might be at the 0 0.25 for a couple of months and then go so they can titrate you up and down more easily than if you had a whole tube of Retin-A. This would take you six months to use up. Anyway, I really love Curology. I think they have a great service. It is available only in the U.S. It is available in most states. There's still a few states, but Curology is working with those states so that they can, you know, provide service for those states as well. There is a similar service available in the UK. Gemma, who has the channel Pampered Wolf, talked about it, and it sounds very, very similar to Curology. 
I can't remember the name of it right now, but I will link that in the description box below. And I think I might have a link for one month free trial. I'm not sure. I hope I do. Anyway, my individualized prescription is 0 0.07 tretinoin, 4% niacinamide, which I love because we know niacinamide helps support our skin's moisture barrier as well as just do other amazing things for the skin, and 5% tranexamic acid. Tranexamic acid is to treat and prevent hyperpigmentation. And the reason I love that they added that in here is because I had been using a separate tranexamic acid serum, and now because I have this, you know, customized formula, I can eliminate a separate serum. Anyway, I go in with one pump, which is a pea-sized amount, and I am going to apply that evenly on my face. Now, when you're applying tret for me, I cannot apply Retin-A tretinoin anywhere near the corners of my mouth or my chin. It's just too irritating, and many people can't tolerate it around their nose. Um, but, you know, most people can tolerate it on their chin. I just simply cannot. So I just work that in. I put it on my upper lip. I put it underneath my eyebrows when I get those crow's feet. And I pat it just gently on the orbital bone there, on the lower orbital bone. You're not supposed to get it too close to the eyes. But by getting it under the by eyebrow and close to the crow's feet and right there, I do feel like it it sort of drifts and treats the, the eye wrinkles. Now, most people cannot tolerate Retin-A or any retinol on their neck area. For some reason, I can tolerate it on my neck, so I am going to apply it on my neck, but uh, please don't try putting it on your neck because most people get pretty severe irritation. So I'm gonna take another pump and I am going to put that on my neck. My neck needs all the help it can get. All right, that's Curology Tretinoin. And again, you know, if you don't have a prescription Retin-A, there are over-the-counter lots of skin, there are lots of um, serums and moisturizers that do have retinols in them or retinaldehydes. And so even without a prescription, you can get the benefit of the vitamin A derivative. Okay. So, we have cleansed. I have used my Mysama Green Rooibos in conjunction with my LED light therapy. I've applied my Retin-A. And one of my very favorite serums, and I have been using this for five years, is my Coenzyme Q10 Serum by Timeless. I absolutely love this. Coenzyme Q10 is a powerful antioxidant. This also has peptides and it also has lots of hyaluronic acid. It is extremely hydrating. And like I said, I've been using it for five years and I do use it AM and PM. This is a very affordable serum. Now, it is a little bit redundant in my skincare routine because my Mysama also contains coenzyme Q10 and I have a night cream that is containing that contains lots of peptides. But I love this so much, I just cannot give it up. But it is a little bit redundant. So it is an amber, sort of viscous uh, consistency, a little bit thicker than water. And I will apply this everywhere, including my eye area. Oh yeah. That feels so good. And I feel like it helps move the tretinoin around. I do put the coenzyme Q10 around my eyes. And so I feel like it sort of drags some of that Retin-A to my eye area very gently. Need a little more for my neck. Always put your skincare on your neck. Always put your skincare on your neck. I, I don't think I... <laughs> I don't think I started taking care of my neck till about 10 years ago, which was a mistake. Okay, the last step in my evening skincare routine is a night cream. I want a night cream that is very rich, very emollient, and in fact, um, occlusive. 
to seal in all of the serums and actives that I have just applied to my skin. My number one favorite night cream, and I'm so glad I found this, is the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. Now, a few weeks ago, I did a video, my five night creams ranked, and I talked about five different night creams that I have tried over the last 10 years. The Dermatology Peptide Night Cream is undeniably in the number one position. I absolutely love it. It has five peptides, which is a lot of peptides. And we know peptides help support our collagen and our elastin and are just super healthy for the skin. So five peptides. Olay Regenerist has one peptide. Uh, CeraVe Skin Renewing Night Cream has two peptides. Dermatology jammed five peptides very high onto the ingredient list and I absolutely love that about it. It also has very high on the ingredient list three ceramides. Three ceramides, very important to support our skin's moisture barrier. So this is a cream and I'm going to go in with about that much. And I apply this everywhere, face, around the eyes, and to the neck. Oh my gosh, it is extremely hydrating. It also has a lot of uh, humectants in it, of course. Oh. You know, when you have dry skin and you are adding all these hydrators and emollients, it just feels so good. Now, this was sent to me in PR for review on my channel. And actually, this is the only product I have tried so far from Dermatology, but I am really impressed with their line and I'm really interested in trying some more products. Dermatology is a medical grade skincare company but because they sell online only and avoid the middleman, so while it is not drugstore price, it is about half the price of most medical grade products, and I really think it's a great value. So I highly recommend the Derm Dermatology Peptide Night Cream, and I know I've heard from many of you that you really enjoy it as well. So that is my basic evening skincare routine. Really isn't that complicated. I do a double cleanse, I do my Mysama with my LED. I put my Retin-A on and follow that with my coenzyme Q10. And then last step is my Dermatology. And of course, I will have all these products listed and linked below. Now, two nights a week, I like to do an exfoliating treatment mask. One or two nights a week, it depends. The other thing is, you know, like I said in my video last week, I really listen to my skin and adjust it as needed. If my skin is feeling extra dry or for some reason irritated, maybe I got a wind burn like I talked about last week, I might skip my tretinoin. Um, so I really urge you to pay attention to your skin and adjust your skincare accordingly. So two nights a week, I do enjoy using a exfoliating treatment mask. So on the nights that I do my exfoliating treatment mask, the skincare routine changes. I do my double cleanse, that is every single night, but on those nights I will do the double cleanse, I will go right in with my exfoliating treatment mask, and then I will follow that with a super rich hydrating moisturizer. No Retin-A, no Actives. Um, in fact, the next morning I might skip my vitamin C and my lactic acid just to give my skin, you know, a period of time to calm down after the treatment mask. And when I say an exfoliating treatment mask, I have a couple I'm going to share with you. I really like the Ordinary. This is a 30% AHA treatment mask. It has glycolic acid, lactic acid, and um, uh, what is the other acid? Glycolic acid, lactic acid, and salicylic acid. This is powerful. This, do, this is not for you if you have very sensitive skin or rosacea because this is a powerful chemical exfoliant. What chemical exfoliants do is they dissolve the glue that's holding the dead dry skin onto the surface of your face, leaving your skin beautiful, glowing, and soft like a baby's bottom. So 
This is what the Ordinary looks like. It is a bright red serum. It looks sort of freaky when you put it on your face. And by the way, I do have a video that I did a couple of months ago on exfoliation, and I will link that in the description box below. So one night a week, I do the, the Ordinary. Again, it's powerful. And before you leave this on your skin, I really urge you to do a patch test first because not everybody can tolerate this. And the last thing you wanna do is to irritate your skin. Then my other night a week that I do my exfoliating mask, I am really enjoying the, the Bay Harbor Beauty Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This is a lovely exfoliating treatment mask. It is a little bit more gentle than the ordinary, and so that's why I like to alternate them. Pumpkin enzymes are a chemical exfoliator, but a little bit milder than, for instance, glycolic acid. But this also does have lactic acid and a lot of other sort of gentle hydrating ingredients. So even though it is a little bit more gentle than the ordinary, it's still very, very effective at dissolving that glue and releasing that uh, dry, dead skin, making your skin glow, and making your skin like a baby's bottom. When I do these exfoliating treatment masks, the next day my skin just glows, makeup goes on beautifully, and I really love doing these masks. Okay, a lot of people say, do you use a eye cream at night? I actually do have an eye cream that I love, and it is the Kiehl's Creamy Avocado Eye Cream, but I typically use this more in the mornings than I do in the evening because this is very, very hydrating. And I will apply it on my eyes after my skincare in the morning so that my concealer doesn't look dry and cakey. But occasionally, right before I go to bed, I might go in sometimes with a little bit extra eye cream. But because I take all of my serums and actives and moisturizers and put them right on my eye area, I personally haven't felt the need yet for a dedicated eye cream. The last part of my skincare that I do before I go to bed at night is I use Revitalash Eyelash Growth Serum most nights. I have been using the Revitalash for about two years. You know, my eyelashes had been getting really thin and skimpy and short. And then I discovered Revitalash Eyelash Growth Serum. And when I first started this, I used it every single night for about two months. And I got some amazing results. My eyelashes became longer and thicker and beautiful. Since then, I use it about four nights a week. And by using it four nights a week, I'm, I am able to maintain the eyelashes the way I like them. I love the Revitalash. It is so effective. It is just a serum. It comes with this little like eyeliner brush and you just apply it right at the eyelash root line. I highly recommend it. All right, so that is my evening skincare routine. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I always appreciate the time that you spend with me. And please, I would love to hear what you are using, some of your favorite products, what works, what doesn't work. We can all learn from each other in the sharing, in the comment box. In fact, that's how I discovered the Hada Labo refill because of a comment. And I wish I could remember who that was, but that really was helpful to me. So thank you. Anyway, thank you for joining me. I hope you have a great day and a wonderful week. And I look forward to seeing you in my video next Sunday. Take good care of yourself. Thanks. Bye. Now, it is at, it is night. I luckily, okay. I'm going to go in with my Suki. Oh my gosh. How do I say it? Suki Yaka who hot. Oh my gosh. Suki. Suki Yaka Suhara. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. I, I really appreciate the time that you spend with me each week. Um, I've, Thank you for the time. Okay.